Yes, it is time for another Nintendo Direct, which is funny because it doesn't feel like it was all that long since the last one. I think the last one was like two months ago. Usually there's a bit more of a, a gap in between the two, but hey, we've got another one. I guess I can't really complain. Supposedly this Direct is more focused on games coming out this winter, which could mean games in early 2024 as well, because that's how winter works. Um, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, Nintendo Directs are usually pretty good. The last one I loved, I think. It was the last one. Yeah, the last one I absolutely loved. Um, so honestly, if this doesn't top it, I won't be too surprised, because the last one I really liked. Um, you can see my reaction to the last Nintendo Direct uh, over on my main channel, because I have my reactions go over there. And this one will also go over on my main channel after the fact, as long as nothing goes wrong. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, then hello. <laughs> uh, what is this music? Did you not see my DM? I did see your DM, but it was really suspicious, so I chose to ignore it. <laughs> Uh, I have a Nintendo stream music mix. Currently we are listening to... Um... A Leisurely Cruise from the game Pushmo World, which I have heard of, but I don't know much about it. <laughs> Time flies. Hi Gloomjaw! I'm gonna have to get used to calling you that, because you're not- you don't go by Wythe anymore. Um, so sorry if I- if I mess up a bit. But hello, how you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm not particularly expecting much for this Nintendo Direct. It's just jazz music. Well, who's in love with a little bit of jazz? Um, so, that's a good question, though. Let's get into some discussion. We've got about 20 minutes or so before the Direct actually starts. Um, I'll pull up the Direct when we're about five minutes away. Um, so, how... What do we think we're gonna see here? What do you want to see? Hopes? Expectations? Feelings? Concerns, what are we thinking? But how did you know it was a sus message? Are you admitting that it was? <laughs> this is wee bowling. <laughs> uh, doing okay? Feeling less sick? Okay, that's great. Yeah, you were feeling a little bit under the weather last time we spoke. Uh, that was on my uh, comrade stream the other day. Um, I really wanted to stream Pikmin today. Uh, and I was going to do that, but then, you know, <laughs> if it wasn't enough, so, yeah, let me sort through my feelings. So this is technically a part one. Um, I'm going into bit uncharted territory today, as I'm going to be doing two streams, or at least that's a plan. Who knows if plans may fall apart. Uh, I'm planning on doing two streams today. Uh, there's this one that I'm doing right now, um, where we'll watch Nintendo Direct. Once the Direct is done, we'll get into some, like, final thoughts, and then I'll stop. Then we'll take a break for like an hour or two, and then I'll be back, and I will be streaming at my usual time, so about 6.30 UK time, uh, where we can continue with Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke while we wait for the PlayStation State of Play to start, because, um, like they thought, hey, Nintendo's having a Direct on this day, let's also do that on the same day. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we've got two events uh, coming up. State of players aren't usually that good, but they do have their moments, so I do think it is worth looking at, especially because Spider-Man is coming out soon. Also, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I'd be surprised, doesn't get anything here. Um, so yeah, I still think it's worth watching. Um, I heard Pikmin 5 was already in the works, so seeing a trailer or something from that would be pretty cool. I think it's really early to see anything from Pikmin 5, but... That would be cool, but I think it's really early. Pikmin 4 is still very new. I don't think they want to, like, jeopardize Pikmin 4's, like, uh, reach or growth uh, by announcing a new one so soon. I don't know. Um, but, I don't know, maybe update for Pikmin 4 or something? I don't know. I haven't played Pikmin 4 yet. But yeah, I did want to play Pikmin 2 today, but then I've, I decided, because there's just so many events I, I want to watch today, so many being two. Um, I, I figured it'd just be easier if I did my Pokemon stream today instead of tomorrow. So that's just, it's just easy and simpler for me. It's two, two streams, it's called a disconnect. Well, technically yeah, but I, whenever my stream disconnects, I never hit stop stream. I, it like, 
it, it the the vod acts as though it's two separate streams but i never hit stop streaming it always just stops and then reconnects on its own so it's different in my eyes but you know whatever uh stay play might have fnaf news maybe yeah perhaps that's that's possible i think the last one did so uh that's possible i'm holding out hope like i'm pretty sure there will most likely be a trailer for spider-man i'm thinking it's very close it's coming out next month so it makes sense that they want to like promote it as much as possible at this point um then final fantasy 7 rebirth i would think would show up there it's coming out in january we've only had like one a couple trailers uh, actually we've only had one trailer i think we've had a teaser and then an actual trailer so we might see a trailer for that i i feel like there's a good chance of that uh, this is a very like um very i think it's not really that likely but I there's it's possible there could be a trailer for Kingdom Hearts 4 uh, maybe it's possible I don't think it's impossible um, I, I think it's unlikely but I think it can happen but that but that's all state of play stuff let's like focus on Nintendo stuff for now I would love to see some uh, Bayonetta one can dream right maybe I mean Bayonetta 3 is still fairly new ish I mean it's about a year old um, I don't know if they'd announce a new Bayonetta game so soon, but um, you know they they are definitely probably working on a new one, so that'd be neat. Um, if Nap Help Wanted Two is releasing in like twenty twenty three, hopefully you get something. Okay, well if it's releasing so soon, then perhaps yeah. This is Kirby's epic yarn music. Uh, KH4 so I don't have finished two yet. I'll get on that. I mean, you, I mean, they'll show off a trailer for Kingdom Hearts 4, maybe, but uh, the game's still a ways off. I think, I still think KH4 is going to release next year. Um, either like, I don't know, late next year or maybe very early 2025. That's my guess. Um, but that's just me. We haven't even had a another trailer yet. Hello, Pixel. Hi, TRC. How you doing? We were watching some Nintendo Direct today. I'm trying out two different capture methods to capture my screen today and one of them will work fine and the other one may not so bear with me because I might have to switch between the two different methods um so you know bear with me if there's like tech issues anyway you didn't tell me why you thought my message was sus um because it sounded familiar I think you tried to catch me out with it before um, also, whether or not it was sus or not, I'd rather have like a variety of music playing while we're chatting. So that's why I like to have these kind of like uh, playlist mixes, because um, you get a bunch of different music. Uh, also, I wanted something Nintendo because this is a Nintendo Direct, so. Gotcha. Hi TS. Yeah, hi TSC. We're watching Nintendo Direct. Um, what do I think is going to be at this N Nintendo Direct? I don't really have a ton of desires at this point. I have a few. Um, like, in, in, the, in the ways of new games, I don't know if I really have any really major wants. I'm more likely just going to allow uh, the Direct to just knock my socks off. The last one did. Again, I'm not really expecting this Direct to be as good as the last one because, I mean, it's hard to top the last one. The last one I really liked. Um, so I don't know if they've already announced any games they might show some trailers for. Uh, maybe some miscellaneous stuff that I'm not really all that interested in. Um, they recently confirmed, or at least Nintendo said that they don't have any plans to have DLC for Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, which is a shame, but I also kind of get it. So, I, I, if, if it wasn't for that, I would assume that they might have a, some kind of teaser for DLC for Tears of the Kingdom, or an update or something. Um, but because Nintendo apparently doesn't have any plans for that, um, probably not. We love Nintendo, yeah. Yeah, variety, including that song. Well, I don't want to... I don't want to, like, open up a bunch of links and go back and forth between a bunch of songs. I just want to let a mix play and relax. Uh, Sonic was once in a deal with Nintendo. Yes, that is correct information. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> hello, 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 Will Lavi. How you doing? Uh, Mario Kart DLC and that's all this stuff. <laughs> More fantasy life stuff, I don't know. Ha here's the question. How many farming sims are we gonna get in this direct today? 
too many or not enough? <laughs> that seems to be a trend. Oh well, I don't know. <clears throat> but um, yeah, Mario Kart DLC. There's only one more DLC pack for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um, and yeah, they could show that off here. I think there's a good chance of that. Um, if they don't show it off here, then they might just in have a random announcement on their YouTube one day. That's my guess. Too many farming sims, let's go, yeah. Yes, I tried to get you with that song before. The actual song itself is cool, but there's a video, some questionable footage of Mario Sonic together, and use that music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I looked at the comments of the of the music and it all seemed pretty innocent enough of people being like, oh, this music's nice and relaxing, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, I, I do like to have variety of music anyway. And I'd rather not push my luck on anything. I predict a supermarket shopping simulator. That's a very specifically strange desire, but who knows? Maybe you'll get your wish. If there actually can actually be one uh, announced here, I will start to wonder if you have like future vision or something. Mortal Kombat 1 maybe? Really? Is that even on Switch? That's like a super mega graphical high fidelity kind of game, isn't it? I don't know anything about Mortal Kombat. I know it's a remake of like Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, is that even on Switch? I wouldn't know. That, that could be on the state of play later if not, I don't know. It's been confirmed? Oh, interesting. All right then. Maybe they will show that here. God, hope the Switch doesn't explode. Huh. Um, I would also love Project Zero slash Fatal Frame 6. Interesting, I didn't know there was like a, a new one. Um, or anything. Uh, like, I don't- or maybe you are hoping for, like, an announcement of a new one. Um, I don't know anything about that series. Um, I know it had, like, a remaster of one of the games a while back. So, you know, the, the series is still, like, alive, so perhaps that could happen. Um, here's the thing that I'm gonna predict. I don't really want it to happen, but I think it could happen. Um, what if they announce the next Nintendo system? Or they tease it, or something like that. Um, I'm wondering, because the Switch has been around for a while, the Switch is like six, almost seven years old I think. You know, the time for a new system to be announced is typically around this time. Um, I wonder if they'll do it. I don't really like it when new systems get announced, I've gotten into it before, I just don't really like the idea of having to spend more money on a system to play the newest stuff. Um, but you know, it's inevitable it's going to happen, and I wonder if they'll announce it here. I think there's a decent chance. Um, I will be a-okay if they don't though, because <laughs> you know, I'd like the Switch to stay relevant for a, for longer, because I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the Switch at this point. Um... Like, they can make a ruddy, <laughs> a ruddy goat simulator and a pressure water simulator, anything's possible, right? I'm pretty sure shopping simulators already exist. He heck, there might even already be some on the Switch. Um, so, get get looking. Have a look. I just realized that Dark Revival never came out on Switch. Huh. Maybe they'll announce that. <laughs> Maybe they'll announce a port of that, who knows. Uh, that's possible. I don't know if maybe the Switch can handle it, I don't know. The The first game wasn't all that uh, powerful, demanded much power, so I don't know about the the sequel. The sequel does look a lot better from the brief trailers I've seen. But who knows. Also is that, Kenji, hello, welcome. Hey, uh, we're watching the Nintendo Direct today. It starts in about several minutes. Uh, s yeah. So we'll switch on over in a bit. Um... But I hope this goes well. <laughs> the, new nin uh, the new Nintendo Switch hardly any different from the Switch, only one <laughs> billion pounds. God, I, I I I went into a big discussion about this in my last Kingdom Hearts uh, three stream about what I think might happen with Nintendo. Or just me speculating about it, so if you're interested you can go f surf that, because I don't want to reiterate too much. Um, Dark Revival isn't very laggy, but there's a lot of input delay though. Mm. They'd have to really optimize it for the Switch, I think. Is this Wii Fit music? 
Even though they do come up with a new system, my bet is the Switch will still remain relevant for another couple of years. I remember when the PS Vita came out, Japan, Japan was still very much enjoying uh, to hop in with their P PSPs and for good reasons. Well, systems tend to do stay relevant for a while, even when the new one comes out. Like, uh, games are still being released on PS4, even though the PS5 has been around for a while now. The PS4 is being fizzled out now, but for a while PS4 games are still coming out. Um, so yeah, the Switch will probably still stay relevant, but, um, you know, they'll, they'll be exclusives to the new system and I'll feel like I'm missing out, so that's where my concern comes from. We did, last time they showed off a trailer actually for, um, or a teaser trailer for a new Princess Peach game. Uh, I'd be surprised if we don't see more of that today, because they just announced that. They showed off some gameplay, they didn't even tell us what the name was. Uh, so there's a good chance that they'll, um, show us that, I think. Uh, talking ports, um, I want some ports. They announced a port of Luigi's Mansion 2, which is a 3DS game. Which makes me wonder if they'll port any more 3DS games to Switch. I think there's a decent chance. There's a bunch of Zelda games that I would like for Switch. They still haven't ported Wind Waker or Twilight Princess, even though I think that's really obvious. Um, so they might announce that. I I keep think I, I keep like expecting that every single time, and it never happens. Um, but I think there's a decent chance. Um, so we'll have to see. This music is Nintendogs, isn't it? I don't know. I've never played a Nintendog before. Let me have a look. Uh, yeah, this is the shopping theme from Nintendogs. Uh, we'll have to cut it short though, because that there direct is about to start. Um, so let's shut off the music. Yeah, the, the timer on the screen has officially started. Um... So let's pull it up. Yes. Again, I got two different display methods for showing the Nintendo Direct. Uh, one of them might be a little bit laggy. The other one probably won't be. So I'm just gonna I, I just gotta experiment, see which one works. Because uh, these kinds of reaction stuff is not my area of expertise. Um. But yeah. Here we go. Uh, let's let's crank it up a little bit more. Okay, let's see how the uh, the volume is. Okay, uh, hopefully you can see it, and when it starts, you can let me know if you can hear it. Um, but yeah, Nintendo Direct, we'll see what we're in for. This is exciting. Um, I don't really have a ton of other expectations outside of what I've mentioned. Um, I, I actually, the other day, I was really wondering, like, this is a really random desire, but I was really wondering if, like, maybe they'll do a remaster of, like, Epic Mickey, which may seem really random and out of nowhere. I'm starting to think that maybe that's not possible, just because I don't know if there's any company that would remaster it, I don't know. Um, I really like Epic Mickey and it'd be neat if it got remastered, <laughs> uh, but I don't know how likely that is. Probably unlikely, but... And that, again, that's a really random desire from just like out of nowhere, but that's it's what I want. Um, other than that... Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm just gonna allow the game, uh, the direct to just show me, show me, show me your strength. Um, uh, what else? Anything else? Th there probably won't be any trailer for Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Maybe an advertisement, but not really a trailer. Because Super Mario Brothers Wonder had a tra had its own direct, uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, I didn't watch it on stream because it's... I'm excited for Mario Brothers Wonder, but I don't really feel the need to watch it on stream. But uh, there was a direct for Mario Wonder a few weeks ago, maybe a week or two. And um, yeah, so because of that, I don't think we'll see it here. Maybe just a quick advertisement, but probably nothing else aside from that. Um, we might get a trailer for Sonic Superstars, because that's coming to Switch. Um, so they might show us some of that here. Uh, and that'd be cool. I'd be okay with that. Um, 
Who knows what else? We got about 30 seconds before that Dura Direct starts, so we won't have to speculate for very long. I hope it doesn't crash or anything. My internet's been a bit strange lately. Um, yeah, let's... let's uh... Okay, we're all good. We're all good. Uh -huh. Let me move my mouse. <sighs> okay, Nintendo Direct. Do your worst. Here we go. Peggy 18. Peggy 18. Be sure to revert your eyes. Uh, might want to increase the volume a tad door. What's up first? Oh, Splatoon DLC. I forgot about this. I don't play Splatoon, but um, it's interesting to me. This looks like the freaking copied city from Nier Automata. Got some goop. This is creepy. Like, Splatoon is usually about, like, the, the colours and the paints and the inks and stuff, but this is all pure white. I think I'm more interested in these kinds of single-player stuff, because, like, the, the thing about Splatoon is that it's a very multiplayer-focused game. Ooh, that's weird. Um, and uh, I don't particularly play multiplayer games very much, they're not really my kind of thing. Uh, but the single-player story stuff of Splatoon games is stuff I'm a bit more interested in. Yeah, anyone into Splatoon? I'd like to be uh, a fan of Splatoon. It's just the multiplayer stuff that uh, keeps me away. But this seems to be more of a single player kind of thing. Also, let me know if the volume's good. If you'd like me to increase it, decrease it. As long as the, the volume doesn't overpower my voice. We should be fine, but let me know if you'd like me to adjust it. Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass. Side order. Oh god, we got some lag. Bad time for lag. Konnichiwa. Uh, I'd like that too. I don't care for the multiplayer requires a description to literally play half of the game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, I mean, the paying for it isn't ideal. Also, I'm, I'm just not that into multiplayer. Supper, just stopping in for a sec to say hi. I don't want to be spoiled too much and I'll be doing a live reaction later. Have a good stream. Well, take care speaking. Hope you enjoy the direct. Uh, thanks for stopping by and saying hi. That's nice of you. Spring 2024. Oh, another Mario and versus Donkey Kong game. I've never played any of these. They don't. They they seem cute little puzzle games. Uh, not really something I'm too interested in. Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. No, not my amiibos. Mario to track him down. Yeah, these are like little 2D puzzle games. It looks cute. I don't know if this isn't something I can really get into though. You guys can hear it, right? <laughs> Should be able to. That rhino. That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious, though, doesn't monkey. it? Monkey. If Mario does this... I thought you played as the Mario little action boss. figures in these games. Maybe I'm wrong. And safely grab the key. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip. Like oh, that's kind of fun. Okay, this is looking a little more interesting to me. I, I don't know if this is something I can really get invested in, though. 
I would play this if it were really cheap, maybe. In this updated version of the game, I don't mean that in a bad way. Ah, co-op. However you choose to puzzle your way through, it's up to you to recover the toys. Can we turn the volume a bit higher? I'll try. You never know when so when it might get like randomly loud, you know? Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation. Okay, I turned it up a smidge. Save the prince oh, the Prince of Persia game that got announced recently. I heard that people played this, like, demos of this, and apparently it's really good. It looks pretty cool. I saw this, I forget where they showed this. I think it was at, like, um... Uh, the Game Awards? No, it wasn't the Game Awards. Um... But don't linger too long if you hope to survive. They 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 announced this a while back. I forget where it was, but um. As well as time powers. And I thought it looked really cool. And then people who played a demo of it at an event said it was really cool and fun. So I'm interested in this. I've only played the first Prince of Persia, or like the first 3D one, on PS2. And I really liked it. So use everything at your disposal to navigate this harsh world. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Stand in your way. Get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Mount Calf. When Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown, launches on Nintendo Switch, January. Cool. You can receive the in-game Warrior Within outfit by pre-ordering the game from Nintendo eShop. Wow. Okay. I'd rather get it on like PlayStation if it's on it. These games will help you chase your passions. Oh yeah. Rev up for true arcade racing in Horizon Chase 2. Not really into driving games. This looks pretty exhilarating though. Each with its own dynamic art style while overtaking your rivals on the road. Play the main game. Yeah, it's not not really my kind of thing. This looks pretty fun though. You can also just, just not for me. Your vehicle and style it to fit your high octane needs. Itching for more racing action? Up to four speedsters can put the pedal to the metal in couch co-op or online. Go oh my god. In Horizon Chase 2, launching on Nintendo Switch shortly after this presentation. Do you think I could be the Nintendo Direct announcer guy? Mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. Maybe, maybe I could, like, narrate the Nintendo Directs for the UK version. Would you guys want to want that? <laughs> Having played the previous games, I'm curious uh, what slash who could catch him at the point he was, uh, could catch him at the point he was at in three. Uh, the Prince of Persia games? I have no idea. I've only ever played Sands of Time. Uh, I haven't played the others. Oh, is that the this, this slight spy anime? Creating a photo diary. On Has anyone seen this anime? It, I've seen clips of it and it looks uh, funny, so... I'm considering about watching this. I'm not a big anime person, but I've seen clips of this and I was like, this looks cute. search of subjects to photograph. How will you spend your time with friends and family? And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? Spy Anya, Operation Memories, launches on I've seen like a few episodes. It was good from what I saw, yeah. I saw some clips and it looked funny, so. Oh, okay, I was expecting a trailer for this. This got announced last time. Super Mario RPG is back with updated graphics. Yay, I'm so excited for this. Oh my god. I'm gonna wanna stream this, I think. Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt do, 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 do. or decrease I've never played- I have played the original of this, I just never played very far. You can now damage all enemies at once. Ah, oh, sick. Every successful action command will fill this gauge. When it's full, you can unleash the three character triple move. Whoa. All out attack. Party, the move will change, so experiment with Oh, that's fun. Moves. I don't know if that was in the original. During your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with Finally Gino returns, yes, after years of people asking for him to be in Smash. Some of them again. Oh, you can rebattle enemies. Post-game boss rematches. Oh, I love it when games do that. Do more of that. 
Yay! Pre-orders are available now. Yay! Got to get me some of that. Hey. This sounds anime. What what are we in for? We're almost there. I wasn't entirely right. <laughs> The Nintendo DS game Another Code Two Memories returns on Nintendo Switch. Returns? One day, a young girl named Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. Seeking answers, she sets off for the solitary I've never heard of this. island in search of him. Once there, Ashley encounters puzzles and obstacles that Puzzles? Puzzles in real life. Don't you sometimes wish that you could just, like, be in a puzzle game in real life? I guess that's what escape rooms are for. <laughs> I've never done an escape room. One day. One day. That's a bucket list thing, for sure. What truths await Ashley in this place? And no matter how hard I try... At least there's, um, I'd like to see some mystery or horror games on the Switch. Yeah. I guess, like, another Fatal Frame would help. <laughs> Another code R Journey into Lost Memories, the sequel to the original game is Oh, it's a sequel. Okay. This is like Juliet, huh? I never heard of it. Play both games to experience the full story. Unravel both adventures, fully enhanced for Nintendo Switch when another code. <laughs> I'd love to do another escape room. They seem fun. I think you need to have the right people with you though. Shortly after this have to have some good friends with you. Two another code titles were released on the DS and Wii. Fully enhanced on the Switch. Ah. Cool, I've never heard of them. Click. There are some really amazing themed rooms. Oh, this is that Princess Peach game. Yeah, I'd like to do an escape room. Ideally a video game themed one. <laughs> So I had actually stand a chance. Toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Sparkle. Princess Peach and some toads. Peach is looking delightful today. Like what she did with her hair. I mean, it's the way it always is, but it's just got light textures. And the sour bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. That character gives me Balan Wonderworld vibes. Now it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play. And the day. Oh, so that's why everything's in a stage play. Has become a terrible tragedy. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the sour. She gives her a snazzy ponytail. She doesn't have a crown anymore. She's off duty. Won't always cut it though. So let's do this. This seems fun. It seems nice. She gets an anime magical girl transformation. Oh! Whoa, styling. Oh, cool. Okay, getting more in we're getting more interested now. Can Peach save this performance and its performers? Peach wielding a sword. I never thought I'd see the day. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Become Detective Peach. <gasps> investigate clues and track. Oh my god, this is cute. Detective Peach spin-off. Where's Mario and all of this? I'd be fine if Mario just wasn't in this at all, and it's just all Princess Peach. The Sour Bunch got their hands on this martial arts school. Oh, she's gonna be Karate Peach. From these foul fiends. Oh my god. Peach just beating the crap out of everyone. Many Better than MJ's hair then. Yeah, the definitely. <laughs> I think no contest. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. This is such an interesting idea. Peach, showtime. Makes its debut on Nintendo ah, we got a name. March I'm interested. Nice. E so Stella is essentially Peach's Cappy. Yeah, I guess so. Kind of reminded me of Starlo from the Mario and Luigi games. I already love that. Yeah, that looks. This looks fun. 
Um, I, I don't know if this is like a, a pre-order day one for me. Probably not, but you know, if I if I get the chance, I'll give this a look. Give Princess Peach, Princess, you know. A new saga begins. Oh, Saga, I've heard of these games, don't know anything about them. Multi-layered RPG full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. There are six heroes to choose Square, from. Square Enix, Squeenix. fights with sentient puppets. I'm not really expecting anything much a else Square Enix related here. A schoolgirl to mask her identity. A crime-fighting duo I don't know anything about these games. Yeah, Princess Peach game looks, looks cute, looks fun. I'm into it. Especially when Peach, like, slices people. That was pretty fun. Select a hero, then follow their journey through 17 interconnected worlds Ooh. as they strive to achieve their goals. How the story unfolds is in your hands. The choices you make can unlock different paths. Never heard of this series till now? I've literally heard the name, and that's it. <laughs> Fight in timeline battles, turn-based combat... It's an RPG, so that's, you know... I mean, I, I like that. Techniques to control the order of actions, or activate team combos to Don't know if this is entirely in working for me, though. Saga Emerald Beyond oh, that's, that's interesting. Nintendo Switch next year. The Legend oh, of Raider Tomb Raider remasters. The first three Tomb Raider games, all with updated huh, okay. visuals, are venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one. Interesting. That was, was not. Didn't see that coming. Lara Croft. Oh my God, Lara! Face off against deadly foes and even deadly. I've never played any of these games. I've never played a Tomb Raider. Should Should I be? Are they good? Should I Should I try? Spanning different countries and mythologies. I'm so happy now. <laughs> You'll solve puzzles to uncover I mean, I do like these kinds of games, like action, adventure, puzzle. I, I like these sorts of things. I like Uncharted. Comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game. You can also toggle between the original. Sh should I give this a shot? And the upgraded visuals at any time. Tomb Raider one through three. Remastered Pretty neat. Starring I'm so happy now. Lara Croft. This is the one from Fortnite, right? Uh. God, some people are going to actually legit think that. Wow, they, they made a game based on that Fortnite character. Oh, right, yeah, this. Don't know if I'm going to play this. Every great detective starts their day early. This is Rhyme City, a place where humans and Pokemon... This might be an interesting game to stream, not so much play on my own time. And his partner, Tim. Investigate various cases while searching for Harry, Tim's missing father. A bunch of apple. Tim oh, and it's a milkery. Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. They'll also rely on Lotad. Pokemon to broaden the scope uh, of their investigations. Follow sense oh, there's a lily pup. I freaking love lily pup. Smash rocks with Darmanitan. It's coming out on her birthday. I love that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's fun. I like it when uh, uh, they release games in, on like a all the fitting days. Harry. It's nice. It's cute. Find out when Detective Pikachu returns. Well, that trailer Launches didn't make me Nintendo any more Switch or less interested in this game. It's just kind of, yeah, this game exists. E I'm sure it'll be fine. But I don't feel too compelled to play it. Oh my god, I've seen this! I've seen this game. <laughs> it looks really silly. It's coming on Switch? That's interesting. How does it control? Do you use a pointer? But how you play that horn it sounds impossible to, to play on a Switch. Why don't they just gyro controls to put... The pitch oh, it's gyroscope. Yeah, this is going to be weird. Or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con Oh, that's interesting. They're actually using the IR the sensor for something. Pretty unique. And unique, for sure. Scheme won't be a walk in the park. Honk your way through this sounds like it'll be difficult to play on Switch compared to like mouse and keyboard. To electronica and everything in between. Why not? Since this is a Switch version, why not just make a, a bunch of Nintendo songs? Hmm. Not sure if I'll be into that. If it had a bunch of Nintendo songs in it, then yeah. 
So now Detective Pikachu specifically looking for another kid's missing father. I think it's the same story. I think it's just a continuation. Yes, yes, your trombone's getting warm. <laughs> Need this in my life. Hope it's a trombone you're playing. Yeah, oh man. Oh, it's a game I don't think I'll like. Oh well. Yeah, trombone champ or whatever. That's interesting. I was not expecting that to be on Switch. I feel like the gyro controls would just make the game harder to play. I don't know. If it was like on the Wii with its like pointer cursor, then it would probably work better. But the gyro on the Switch, while good, isn't perfect. Available imminently? Let's go. Oh, is it available now? Imminently is next August. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. I didn't see when it was releasing. Uh, I didn't see what this game was. It doesn't look like something I'll be into, though. Up to four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this vast world. War Tales launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch. Oh, they're admitting it's a timed exclusive for once. We never do that. In this reimagining of the beloved NES Contra, I've heard of this game. I don't know anything about it. With a devastating arsenal of weapons to crush the Red Falcon forces. Well, this seems kind of fun. With easy pick up and play controls and a variety of It's just like crazy shooter. This kind of gives me like Cuphead vibes a little bit, actually. Features new weapons, like controls enemies, with the shooting and the jumping. Powerful super attacks and a four player co op mode. Contra. Operation Galuga storms onto Nintendo. The mechanics looked a bit meh. Yeah. Year. It's just like the gyroscope. Liberate your kingdom. Reclaim your It said destiny. shortly after this presentation. Oh, okay, cool. Well get get going. Just get on that. <laughs> Trumbo Champ available shortly after this presentation, apparently. Okay, cool, yeah. That's not surprising. It's not like it's a large game that needs a ton of like uh time or hype. I have no idea what this is. This looks kind of Fire Emblem-esque, also Triangle Strategy-esque, I don't know. This this isn't, you know, this isn't grabbing me. Mind the bond. Cultivate a grand army with over sixty unique characters from humans. Why are you whispering? Massive beasts and heavenly angels. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, Ooh, months, food. or even years, but I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled. <laughs> duties. Atlas. Oh, it's by Atlas. Okay. Present the <laughs> Overlord. Wow, that is a name. That's a pretty cool name. <laughs> oh, here we go, Luigi's Mansion 2. I really I haven't played the first two Luigi's Mansion games, but I really loved three. Um and this looks this looks nice, because it's a 3DS game. Remastered for Switch. So I'll, I'll probably want to give this a give this a shot. I could stream it. Hey, so it's not just a port, it's like uh, an HD version. Welcome to Evershade Valley. It's still a 3DS game, bear in mind. And teeming with the supernatural. Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was I love Luigi. He's my favorite. Time for some mansion mayhem. He's like, hello. This might be the last time we hear Luigi voiced by his original device, by Charles Martinet. Because, you know, Luigi and, and Mario has a new voice actor now. That one ain't doing it for me. Mm. Plus, when you spot like the ghost, tactical game, yeah. Pop! You can stun them with the strobe ball. Then vacuum them up. Strobe light. You can even grab multiple ghosts at once. In 
this game, you'll find ghosts haunted. Luigi. A former plant research lab. Oh yeah. A broken down clock factory that's full of sand. A mine covered in ice and snow, and even more places. These troublemakers will use. I don't think. I think I probably won't like this as much as Luigi's Mansion Three, but Luigi's Mansion Three looked beautiful. And save the day. Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across different multiplayer. Yeah, pun. It's a ghost pun. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Summer 2024. That's quite a ways off. Next summer. I will keep that on my list. It was pretty good, thank you. We have two announcements to share. Okay. Oh, this music I'm familiar with. It's it's from Mario Galaxy, but this is probably just general Mario announcement. That's a that's a question block if I've ever seen one. And I've seen my fair share of question blocks. I don't think this is a game announcement. <laughs> Okay. It's in Japan, though, isn't it? That's pretty neat. Summer 2024, you'll play Dark Fire with Full Men, right? I don't know. I think the game announcements are done, yeah. I mean, I mean we've still got the, 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 the direct is only like halfway through. <laughs> It's a, it's like a 40 minute direct, and we've only been on for like 25 minutes. Also, Amiibos, uh, Mio and Noah, cool, like them. Can we get a Sora Amiibo for Smash Brothers? <laughs> oh, is this it? Yes, okay, Sora, Sora, Sora. The only amiibo that I'd actually- Yes! Yay, Sora! The only amiibo that I'd actually want. Sora amiibo, nice. Cool. I was wondering if they'd even do one because of Disney, but oh well. There's no reason as to why they couldn't do a Sora amiibo, I guess. Happy pixel noises. Oh, F Zero. The series that's practically dead. Perhaps not. Oh, is this part of a Switch Online? Maybe. Whoa. F Zero Battle Royale. Oh. Oh, it's another Tetris Ninety Nine Mario Thirty Five situation. Hopefully, that this isn't like a timed exclusive. Or just a timed game in general, like Mario Thirty Five was. Meter will decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, you're out. You're dead. You'll need to avoid this seems crazy fun. Your power meter to stay in the race. I can't say I've ever been interested in F Zero. Feeling risky? But Spend I'm 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 done some simple speed. crazy fun. In my in my Bibia games. You can also collect super sparks. That's like Sonic's a CD special stage. Yeah, it kind of does a bit. To a special path called. I think this game might predate that, I'm not too sure. Because I think the F-Zero game was like one of the first games to like do this kind of thing. Maybe? I'm not sure. Or no, not one of the first, but it was like one of the earlier ones I think. I might be completely wrong. I've never played F-Zero. <laughs> this is, this is fun. This is wacky weird. It's time to race your way to I eat losers place. for breakfast. Because F099 will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch online members shortly. Is it available now? Yep, yeah, it's available now. Thought so. <laughs> 30 years after its original release, F0 is back as a battle royale game. I wonder if this means that F0 is gonna like come back for for reals. Or if they're, maybe they're testing the waters with this. Okay, what else we got? Oh my god, I have no idea what this is. 
Welcome to Battle oh, City, a whimsical land my God. This is cute. Beings called Yordles. After a party Yordles? A too wild, the portals holding the land together collapse. The Yordles travel through the portals? The chaos. It's up to you and your knitting magic to stitch Bandal City back together. Journey across the land to gather materials. I like the sprite art. Items and meals for the locals. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by unlocking League of Legends game. Is it? Is that what this is? Enchant your experience. I don't know much about League of Legends. Not really my kind of thing. And hosting festivals for the community. Can you save Bandal City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? The player base is too... Uh, oh, it is League of Legends, all right. Uh, the player base is too toxic for me to touch anything associated with League. Uh, I, I, mm, Did you hear that? I believe that. Join oh, hello. Nunu and Willem on a journey across the frozen wilds of the Freljord. Who dis? Jump, climb, and sled your way I, I like me a platformer. Where every step taken and each puzzle like the like the look you closer to the truth about these friends and their past song of new new a league of legends story oh this is league of legends as well okay <laughs> it's interesting that league of legends is having like a bunch of different light spin-offs or something interesting let's move oh where you where the other League games are quite good. I liked, uh, like, Ruined King. I, I didn't know that League of Legends had, like, an extensive amount of, like, side games. Uh, I knew it had, like, a show, I think. Or a movie, something like that. How many farming scenes have been announced so far, by the way? None! I don't think any's been announced. There might be a game or two here that has farming in it, but I don't know if there's been any, like, farming sims. As quick as you can. The micro games will come one after another, so look alive. No, 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 not touching any of that with a 50 foot ball. <laughs> Fair enough. Can it out in party mode. I probably won't uh, play the League of Legends games because it's not really my kind of series. I mean, the, the second one, the little platform one, looked fun, but I might be a bit lost on the world and characters. What was that guy doing? He was laying an egg IRL, really? WarioWare is complete nonsense craziness. That's how they work. A heroic tale will soon unfold. Ooh, is this another RPG? Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle. I like the sprite art. Empire's invasion. Auden? Noah, a humble villager. Sane, an officer from this the is giving Empire. me Octopath Traveler vibes, which I haven't played, but it looks, kind of looks, gives me, reminds me of it. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can Shockhead. This is your home Maui. Base, known as the headquarters. As allies join you, additional facilities will become available. Oh, that's be cool. Able to tend crops, open shops, and more. Oh, that's nice. Each hero you encounter has their own backstory and motivation. They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Trust, betrayal, justice, and truth. A heroic tale will begin. It's pretty cool. When Auden Chronicle Hundred Heroes Auden. launches on Nintendo Switch, April twenty. Okay, that's pretty cool. We'll keep an eye on it. Participate in some pixel perfect. Play. Pixel perfect. That's me. Next stop, Octopia. Oh, I've heard of this. To a charming parallel world in this paid DLC for Eastward. Help Sam and John That's DLC. Farming! As they adjust to country life oh my god, this is like farming sim DLC. Tend to livestock. Whip up culinary delights okay, well there you go. And <laughs> Tend to crops farming simulator one shown. Okay. And if you're new to Eastward, don't worry. Well, we got another you one. Access the DLC even if you haven't played the main story. Eastward, Octopia, ventures onto Nintendo Switch this winter. That's cute. Pixel, you got mentioned. Oh my god, I got called out. In this sequel to Wargroove, 
charge across the I've never heard of this. Valiant factions, including a new mouse folk faction. The mouse. Ah. Little mouse men. Supercharge your commander's groove to unleash. Fighting sim, let's go. Yeah. Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. Take a take a drink whenever farming sim shows up. I mean, I don't drink, but if I did, I'd die. Or create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. Because of all the farming sims. War Groove Two marches on to Nintendo. Although there's there's not not they've they've kind of like um toned down the farming sims in this one. Shortly after this presentation. The little mouse people, that's so cute. Oh, hello. Dive and catch fish by day. I've got to then shoot serve them. As sushi by night. And the aquatic adventure, Dave the I'm liking doctor. all the pixel art. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes and create the day's menu. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. <laughs> This is fun. Ever-changing underwater world to find the like, best ingredients. Underwater adventures by culinary expectations. by night. Dave the diver. And then sushi restaurant by day. That's October cute. 26. Pre-orders and a free demo swim onto Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation. Oh, that narwhal. The final wave is Here we go. Yeah, final Here's booster course. What do we got? Wave six, oh, Daisy wave whatever place. Deluxe Booster course pass DLC. The final the DLC. They'll they'll announce DLC the final circuit. character. More returning characters are also being added in Wave Six. Who we got? Mario Kart Dash, oh, I know Diddy people Kong. really wanted Diddy Kong. From Mario Kart and Funky Kong. I know a lot of people Kong. wanted him too. They got the Kongs. Mario Kart Tour. Hey, Pauline. Pauline. That was one that people were expecting as well. And also. Peach and it's another Peach variant. Okay. This is like the fourth version of Peach that's in the game. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Six of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass drives onto Nintendo Switch this winter. This DLC can be purchased on its own. They only showed one of the tracks. Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can also enjoy it at no additional cost. Wait, when did they say it was coming out? Plus, a physical version of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Ooh. Booster Course Pass DLC. Bundled with some extra goodies is racing into stores October 6th. Wow, stickers and magnets. <gasps> Mungus! Oh my god. Mungus? A day the diver coming to Switch? <laughs> I have, to this day, only played one game of Mungus. The sus. <laughs> Actually, no, I played multiple games of Mungus just in one session. Oh, the mushroom. If this is some kind of Mario crossover... I really want a Among Us to cross over with Sonic and have a map be on the Space Colony arc. Imposter Mungus. Oh no, a little Mungus fell off. Oh. One of the Mungus fell off. Oh, there, there he is. A uh, new map. Cool. The fungal in Mungus. This new map for Among a fungus. And launches this October. Cool. Could play some Among Us uh, with viewers. P perhaps, I don't know. It's uh, uh, something to consider for sure. A fungus, yeah, they're, co they're called crewmates, it's quite cute. I I'm just gonna call them Mungus, okay? <laughs> it's a Mungus. Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I think the um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet first DLC pack came out the other day. I haven't seen anything of it because I'm not that interested, but... Okay, so Booster of course comes out winter, gotcha. Pretty neat, pretty neat. There hasn't been anything in this Direct that's knocked my socks off. 
A combination of stuff I already knew about and um, some 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 things that I think are kind of kind of neat, but nothing that's like blown me away. But hey, my socks are on. Knock them off. This is a Mario thing. <gasps> oh my god! You are kidding me. No way! Oh my god, okay, socks are, are thoroughly knocked off. It's a Thousand Year Door remake. They chose to remake the second one and not the first one. I've never played this game before, but I've always wanted to. I always said if they ever remastered this game, ported it, remaked it, I would play it in an instant. I would... I've always wanted to play this. It looks so much fun. Holy crap. We're getting the Super Mario RPG remake and this? God, I'm eating good today. Oh my god. Some people are going to be really unhappy about the art style. Because it's got like the papercraft kind of style to it and people don't like it. It's another Mario- oh my god, this is so exciting. They thought we, they said it would never happen. That Nintendo doesn't like the old Mario RPGs. The, 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 the old Paper Marios, they don't want to go back to those. Oh my god. I'm so excited. God, two Mario RPGs. Got them spoiled right now. I've, I've wanted this. I've never even played this game, yet I feel like I'm just so hyped. I can imagine all the people who are, like, super fans of this game freaking out right now. If I'm freaking out, and I've never even played it before, but always wanted to, then I can only imagine what, like, the the super fans of this game are feeling. Yeah, they chose to remake the Thousand Year Door and not the first one. This one is the more popular one, though, to be fair. And yeah, you get to play as Peach as well. A paper, re a paper remake. Oh my god, yeah, that gasp. I get this. Yeah, I can get this in a heartbeat. Absolutely. When does it come out? Oh yeah, Princess Peach has a date with her computer. 2024. So it's so a ways off. Well, I don't know. Not a ways off, but potentially. I think Mario RPG will definitely come out first. But then once I've played Super Mario RPG, I have this to look forward to. <laughs> Wow. Thank you, Nintendo. You, you, I asked you to knock my socks off and you did so very nicely. Thank you. Okay, arigato. Well, there it is. Thank you for watching. The presentation is done. Okay. Well, that 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 is that, huh? So what do we think? Um, I I enjoyed that one. I, I get I like I it, I don't think I liked it as much as the um the last one we got. I think the last one just had a lot more that I was interested in personally. Um, but um, that last announcement, Mario, well that 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 really does it for me, doesn't it? We've got Dark Revival to look forward to this Halloween. Assuming it goes on sale, again, I refuse to pay full price for Dark Revival. Um, yeah, what did you guys think? It was What was your favourite thing that got announced there, if anything? Like, if there, was, if there was nothing that you liked, that's fair enough. Because uh, there was a lot of stuff that I was, like, casually interested in, like, oh, that's neat, or, oh, that's cool, you know, yeah, it's, it's okay, I like that. You know, Luigi's Mansion, you know, the Princess Peach game, you know, that look, look fun, I like those. Uh, a couple RPGs that looked nice. Um, that Paper Mario, though. They said it would never happen. Paper Mario, bro. Oh my god. That's, that's, that's really something. That's like a really... 
crazy thing because like Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door is like Paper Mario is quite is like an ongoing series as there's, there's the, you know it started on the N64 and it's still happening and like every every Nintendo system has had a Paper Mario game on it um so you know it's a series that's still like happening uh, but the series has like taken a very different direction from what it started. The first couple of Paper Mario games are these like RPGs that people really love. Um, but Nintendo seems so against to going back to that style for Paper Mario. Um, so the newer Paper Mario games are quite different from how they started. They're still RPGs, but they are very different. Uh, and I like them. I've only ever played the newer Paper Mario games. I've only played Color Splash and Origami King. Which are the two newer ones that are a bit more divisive because they're not like traditional RPGs. But Thousand Year Door is celebrated and beloved uh, by fans because it's like a really good RPG. It's very, it's got an interesting story. It's like um, got all that good stuff in it. And so many people were like, they'll never remaster Thousand Year Door or never go back to that style because they seem so hell bent on continuing with the modern Paper Mario style. But you know, shut shut me up because they gone done did it. They Thousand Year Doors getting a remake, remaster, whatever you want to call it, it's coming back, which is cool. I've never played it. I've wanted to play it for so long, um, but I've never really had a convenient way of being able to play it, and now I do. So excellent, love it. I was gonna resort to like emulating it if they didn't remaster it or something. Um, but now I get to play it in lovely HD. Uh, for me, it was Tomb Raider. Yeah, you were excited for Tomb Raider. I'm like, uh, I was interested in that. I don't know if I'll like get it day one or whatever, but uh, you know, uh, perhaps I'll give Tomb Raider a shot. You know, they're on Switch. Uh, I got worryingly excited for to uh, to uh, 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 Trombone Champ. I nearly said Tombstone Champ. Uh, trombone Champ until I saw how it works. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's available now, so you could give it a look if you want. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll get it. <laughs> um, if it was like a full-on like Nintendo edition of Trombone Champ that had a bunch of Nintendo music in it, then I'd be all on that, but um, it seems to just be like the same game but just on Switch with Gyro. and. The gyro looks a bit funky, so probably not going to be into that. What if Dark Revival went on like the tiniest offer of one p? Um, like it, it was, it was like one p off, or it just was one pence. Because uh, if it was one pence off, then no. If it just cost one pence, then obviously yeah. I'd buy any game if it cost one pence. <laughs> if it was on sale for one pence, I'd buy it. Why not? I don't care what it is. Unless it was a game that was, like, supporting criminal activity or something, I don't know. <laughs> Sadly, I need to go. Um, see you later for that PlayStation stream or whatever. Sure, sure. I'll be stopping in a sec as well, just want to get some final thoughts out. Uh, but I will be streaming later at uh, my usual time, so 6.30 UK time. Um, for um, uh, Pokemon. Uh, and then at 10 is when this uh, state of play starts, and we'll be watching that in a similar fashion to what we are doing now. But, um, yes. <laughs> you said it, if you went on offer, you'd buy it. Would you buy Fortnite for, for 1p? I wouldn't buy Fortnite for 1p because Fortnite's already free. <laughs> That's 1p more than normal. Mm. Um, so, yeah, any f uh, final thoughts about... Um, the Nintendo Direct. I liked it, didn't like it as much as the last one. Paper Mario stole the show. Peach was nice. Uh, didn't port any Zelda games. I'm starting to think that's never going to happen. <laughs> I want some Zelda ports up in here, but no, we're not getting any of that. Oh well. I ask for it every time and it never happens. Um, there were some interesting RPGs. I think I'll have to go back and rewatch it just to refresh myself on everything that was shown. Um, but yeah, there was, there was a couple interesting things, but the, the only thing that actually genuinely uh, blew me away was Paper Mario. And also the Sora amiibo I'm interested in as well. Um, so yeah, um, thank you very much for, for watching. If you, if you stayed with me during this, thank you for watching with me live. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, 
um, thank you very much for watching. Um, uh, I'll be I'll be swapping here in a bit. Um, previous reactions are in uh, playlists on my YouTube, so you can go check that out. Um, yes, for those of you watching, if you're watching this on YouTube, you could have watched this live with me. If you, uh, but you can find my Twitch in the description below if you do want to do that next time. Um, but uh, yes, I will be watching the PlayStation State of Play uh, later live on Twitch. Uh, when it starts, uh, but I'll be streaming some Pokemon before then at 6.30. So with all that being said, I uh, hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe, and I hope to see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.